Hello and welcome to a tabletop bellhop cardboard coat check. Specifically today, a court cardboard coat check. Uh, this is the silly name we give our unboxing videos, uh, which is all about the games checking into uh, my collection and checking them out before I get to play them. Uh, I am Motuzno, the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge working with you to make your game nights better. Of course, what I'm trying to do tonight is letting you know about this game to see if it's right for you and your group. So this is a three to five player trick-taking card game that was successfully funded on Kickstarter. Note, this is the production copy, no preview here. This is available. You can go late pledge for it right now on Kickstarter. So Court, again, is a trick-taking game with a unique twist that you are trying to have the least points. And it's got a really neat system where the winner of the trick actually divides up the card to the other players. And then that's going to be your final score. But also, the cards you give out to the players is what they play in their next hand. So some neat stuff going on. I live in southwest Ontario. I love tricking games. I'm really looking forward to checking out Court. Step one, though, is opening up the box. So let's get to that. All right, so here you have my copy of Court. I've just cracked the shrink open on it. And let's take a look at what you get inside the box. So this is a pretty traditional style card game. Uh, what we've got is a deck of cards, obviously, and we've got a small rule book. Uh, it's kind of tiny. We're looking at five pages, so a double-sided thing, five little pages. Font's a little tiny. I would have liked that to be a little bit bigger, especially since the box is so big. This could have been double the size with a bigger font. But again, that's just I'm old and I have bad eyes, so I would have appreciated that. We're going to fold that up, put it to the side for now. Uh, let's work on the stuff over here. So over here we have a baggie. Uh, we've got a pencil, uh, fan of the show, Red Meeple Ryan, I'll appreciate this. He always appreciates when games give you a pencil, uh, though no sharpener. So you do get a small pencil, which I assume we're going to have some uh, scoring sheets. Then we have here a bunch of wooden pieces, and you can kind of see that best right here. These are wooden crowns. I'm um, sticking with the black and white look. They are black wooden crowns. What these are for is when you take a trick, you get to keep one of these, and they're worth minus points at the end of the round or end of the game. So for every crown you have, you have less points. So this is a trick-taking game where the goal is actually to have the lowest points at the end of the game. It's kind of like no thanks, the card, uh, a trick-taking game. Where when you take a trick, you're going to divvy out the cards and whoever has, um, the, and you're going to want to give yourself the lowest card. So then we have the deck of cards. Uh, now, we're going to start on top. There is a thank you card that kind of thanks you for playing it. I still say in my copy, I'm tempted to keep this in, and whoever draws the thank you card when playing, they have to buy the next round of drinks, and everyone says thank you. Uh, then we're going to flip these. We have a scoring pad, which is pretty cool. Goes with the pencil, scoring pad with the pencil, and I dig it because basically it's just the sheet of paper you draw yourself. You know, players' names and scores, but it's neat. That's a nice addition. And bonus points, two-sided. Always love that. So we're going to put this off to the side. Then you got a bunch of reference cards. One for each player, which kind of tells you all the card power. So in this game, the odd cards, when played, have special abilities. So this summarizes those. And then the other side has a quick reference that describes how to play. Next, we get into uh, the bonus cards. Two of these are going to be up every round. Nice and easy to read. I love how there. There's a big font. This is happy. This is I can see this from across the table, which is awesome. So what this is, is if this is if you have this. At the end of the round, you can claim this card, and then it's minus five points in the game. And again, this game, you're trying to score as low as possible. So, like, have three of a kind in your court. Have three characters in your court. Have two pair in your workshop. I'm not sure what the workshop is. But, well, I'll, I'll figure that out once I actually learn to play. No, but I haven't played this. Next, we have the character cards. There are two of each character card. But they're actually, are they different? Yeah, they're actually unique with unique powers. So, these are your normal, um, what do you call them? The, the, the suits, the, the king, queen, jack. I don't, I can't remember the term for that. What do you call cards with that? Those, the face cards, your face cards from a normal trick taking game. These trump everything else in the game. I don't know how they trump each other. That's something I'd have to look up um, in the rules because I don't actually know um, how that works. But when you play these, they have a special ability that goes off, but you can't keep it. Like when you're divvying out your suit at the end, your trick for who gets the points, you don't get to keep these. Then we have one through 10. These are not in order. In three different suits, I'll just show off the three suits here. So we have a red suit, a green suit, and a black suit. Uh, slight concern that the red, black, and, and green are not the best choices for anyone who has color blindness issues, especially red, green color blindness. But there are icons as well, so that will help with that. One thing I love about this, reversible. I can hold these either way and see all the info. And also the odd cards that have the rules on them, like the special abilities. The special abilities even written on each side, so there's no right way up. 
Now, unfortunately, there's not really anything so you can see the special ability when there's played, but then you do have a reference card with all those. So that's it. One through ten. Three different suits. Only three, not four. One through ten and three suits. Goal cards. Rule book. Score pad. Pencil. And crowns. There you have what you get in court from B5 Productions. All right, now that I've gotten a look at the cards, i got to say I'm pretty impressed. This is very much a traditional-style trick-taking game. This is not a thematic Euro trick-taker with lots of twists. This uses some of the tried-and-true basic mechanics you find in classic trick-takers and sticks to kind of your standard um, 1 through 10 in suits, except there's only three suits this time, so you can't technically play this with a standard deck of cards. In addition to that, the face cards are special cards. At the start of the game, everyone's going to start with one, and that's it. So you shuffle up all the cards, everyone gets their hand of cards, then they get one face card. So you never know which one it is, but you do know everyone has one. Then you're going to play the trick. When you win the trick, you're going to divvy out the cards to the other players. At the end of the game, you're going to look at your tableau, which is your court, and see how many points you have the player with the least points wins. What I'm impressed by is a nice small box. The black and light white look actually works really well for me. It, it sticks out well. Um, the wooden crowns are really nice. I was expecting some kind of cardboard tokens. It's really cool to use wooden crowns. Uh, it comes with a score sheet and pencil, which is a bonus. Really looking forward to trying this. I'm in southwestern Ontario. We love trick-taking games here. I grew up playing Euchre. I don't know if I would have got through high school if I couldn't play Euchre at lunch. So I'm really looking forward to checking out Court from B5 Productions. Now, when I do check this out, I will be sharing my thoughts all over social media. You can find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can also head over to the blog, tabletopbellhop.com, where I'll eventually post up a written review. And check out our YouTube channel, where we share video reviews of these. And we'll also talk it on, about it on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Yes, that's a lot of self-promotion. All right, thank you for joining me for this unboxing of Court. B5 Productions, hot off Kickstarter. This is a production copy, not a, um, not a preview. And I do have to thank B5 Productions for sending us a review copy.